Sure. Yeah, that kind of got that. Where did we get that? Oh. <clears throat> if I start coughing, I will just. It was preparing this why I came out there. It has to prepare me then. Did give it time to prepare. Okay, it looks like we're we're on. Good. So let's go to Zoom. Get ready. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. While we await our guest on our weekly Monday evening Zoom to live Facebook uh, show, Faith, Family, and Friends, which is actually a spinoff, some of you may not know, from a radio show that I had back in Maine uh, back in the day from 2010 to uh, maybe before that, 2005 to 2017 when we left. We uh, played music, uh, interviews with people from all walks of life all across the nation. Everybody has a story, which is why we like doing this. Mm -hmm. And uh, last week we interviewed a family from New Jersey who had a Christmas fire, Christmas day fire uh, at their home, lost everything, lost their dogs. And we had a lovely chat with um, Mojica, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the Mojica family, yeah, Randy Mojica and his, and his wife, Cielo. And we still uh, encourage you to give to their effort. You can find the link. So while we're chatting with our friend from Maine, Karen Fulmer in a minute, if uh, you are looking for some more information to give to that family, um, please feel free to private message us or let us know and we will send you, uh, there's a couple links. Our church took, took up an offering and sent it to them through snail mail. That way uh, we don't have to worry about uh, giving the GoFund people uh, money and that, that that's a bad thing but i love to make sure that all the donations go 100 percent to the individuals mm -hmm. who are deserving of it next week we have an interview with uh yeah i know it's tim tim's oh, birthday today happy birthday tim grasshopper in battle creek yes we have an interview with uh, dana coverstone who has quite a few thousand followers he's a pastor of a small country church in kentucky and he's had several dreams that god has given him about uh, warning dreams about our nation and what we're uh, gonna be going through. So uh, we were gonna interview him and Karen tonight, but where I have very little voice toward the end of the day, I thought one interview at a time per week. So uh, Dana's uh, very uh, cordially said next week would be fine with him. And so we're also <clears throat> in the works of uh, securing some interviews with different people from uh, the entertainment industry. And so you can pray for us, uh, we'd like to, have John Cooper from Skillet on. And we recently messaged the uh, actress who plays opposite of Tom Hanks in the new movie, News of the World, which is a splendid film. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to go out and see it. So we are awaiting uh, Karen, her arrival on Zoom. And uh, probably be a good idea if you grab your phone, if you don't have it on mine, so we can text and make sure that we I sent her the proper password, passcodes, and all that stuff. So I do see that we are live on Facebook now. Um, you can view all of our interviews 
that we've done since Zoom has been the popular place to go for people since COVID happened. If you go to my wife's YouTube channel, uh, we secure all of those interviews, uh, back interviews on that page. If you look at her page in the library of interviews, you'll see several um, that we've enjoyed through the last several months. I think when we started doing this, we did some from uh, interviews that we'd already done from Maine with people that we wanted to catch up with and talk to pastor friends, uh, ministry uh, colleagues. And we also secured some interviews with new people that we came to know. The Birdman from England is probably our most um, <clears throat> interesting <throat> interview, uh, the way that we had to set it up. But we are definitely going to do uh, him again this spring so that we can see his birds. <clears throat> we weren't thinking, or I wasn't, and interviewed the Birdman from uh, England at midnight. So his birds are all asleep. Uh, but we've had some great fun chatting with people from all different walks of life. So Karen, if you're out there, uh, we would love to. Um, you've got my phone or yours. yours. Maybe you could text her as well. Um, is that her? You, you've got her on your Facebooks. So we will just give it a few minutes. And if you have ideas for an interview, uh, then uh, just let us know. It doesn't have to be somebody that's famous or best-selling author, musician. It can be anybody from whatever town, across the state. Everybody's got a story, as I mentioned. We have some local people here in Michigan who have some great gifts that God has given them. Uh, one guy who goes to a men's fellowship that I'm part of is a chainsaw artist in the creations that he makes are fabulous. Just absolutely amazing. He's done everything from dragons to praying hands to ice cream cones. And he's really good with his chainsaw. Uh, Sam, if you're listening tonight, uh, he's got a new YouTube page that he's developed. And so <clears throat> uh, that's another uh, idea that we have in the works as well as people from back home in Maine. Uh, we did have my second dad, my father, Donald Beal, who's retired Coast Guard. And if you want to watch that, that's on our backlog of interviews on the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, Donald almost drowned in Hawaii. And his story of how God saved him uh, from drowning in the surf, um, I think it was just after the war, or was it uh, during his training? During. I think it's during his training. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so we're just what, uh, it felt like. what it felt like. So maybe we could put in the link here um, if I can find a way to do that. I know that we are on live now. I'm not trying to get my wife to change. Let's see. Any ideas that you may have of some uh, interviews, Amy, or ones that you thought were really fun from the past? Karen uh, gives us, uh, okay, I'm here. It is 7.32, so she's not. There's a way to do this to get back into our account. And let's see if we can, you know, there. No, I miss her trying to. No, I, 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 it, will, <coughs> it will come up. We will see it. Uh, what was your favorite one? Mm. Well, been a lot of good ones. Well, been a lot of good ones. We uh, interviewed our friends. Uh, you know, I can't seem to connect. I've been on with this iPad before. I will keep trying, she said. So we will just wait. We're, tell her we're talking about past interviews. And tell her just to keep trying. And uh, we will do that. So also, we do have a morning, <clears throat> excuse me, devotional that we'd love to invite you to to share with every every uh, every morning at 7.30. Um, we, I uh, share the word of God. So those of you uh, want a little spiritual pick me up in the morning, um, feel free to tune in 7.30 on live Facebook. And okay, and now we're gonna go over here and 
yeah, Spark. So we are now putting the uh, link to live Facebook. I'm trying to see if we're coming off live. There is a bit of a delay <coughs> anytime that you go live. And I'm assuming I'm on, but I'm not seeing it right now. For some reason, I know we saw each other earlier, but uh, at any rate, can you let us know that we are still going on, folks? If you, can you, um, I'm trying to put that um, post down here. But well, we'll, we'll, um, we'll copy and paste that later. So as Karen is trying to get on, I think at, um, Probably the, the most fun. It's hard to, <coughs> excuse me. It's hard to to judge which uh, interview is better. <laughs> they all have their their blessing. I see Leslie Monaco is listening. Uh, Pastor John uh, is listening. John Burpee, Diane yeah. Swingo, good. So we are on. So uh, we do have in the works a few other people to uh, interview and. Uh, Oh, I do think that it was fun when we were on. Excuse me, it's hard to. We were on in Maine. We had the amazing privilege of interviewing the scriptwriters Chad and Carrie Hayes. If some of you don't know the name of the uh, one of the original Spearmint Gum twins, do you remember that gum commercial? Those gum commercials where Double Mint Gum, that was it, right? Uh, Wrigley's Double Mint Gum. Well, Chad and Carrie were uh, part of that when they were younger, they're <clears> twins. They twins. And they have become spirit believers, uh, lovers of God, strong Christians who do faith-based horror films. Scary movies. And I'm sure that you, uh, if you haven't watched them, you've heard of them, the Conjuring series, Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, and then the most recent film uh, that was filmed in Europe, what's the name of it? One, Nun. The Nun. They were all very scary, and but they had redemptive, themes and they were based on a true story so if you want to see them you won't see them in zoom that was uh back in the day when we had the radio show in maine but we're trying to get them to come on board they had they have a lot going on so uh carrie told me uh or chad did that he couldn't uh schedule an event right now but we will keep trying him so uh, we also did uh bruce uh bruce cameron who is the author of a dog's purpose uh, he was real busy this Christmas season. He only could commit to 15 minute interview. We thought, well, let's try to do it again, maybe in the spring so we could give a little more time. <clears throat> He's been working on a new book uh, for Christmas. I believe it is out. And if you aren't a, a fan of the face Facebook page that he has a dog's purpose, you might want to become that. I see Karen is on, yay. There you are, old friend, with emphasis on friend, not old. We've lost her head. So if she can tip that up and then unmute yourself, you'll be good. Good to go. We need to hear your voice, your lovely maniac voice. <laughs> so there's a button somewhere to push. If you, hold on here. No. Try to, well, that I, there's nothing, I'm out of control with the mute thing. So I've got to- How's that? Ah, perfect. Yay. All right. It's Hello. so good to see you, Karen. We have a tuned <laughs> in. And uh, it's just like going home to have somebody uh, on here. We've had what probably a couple people from Maine yeah. uh, Zoom us uh, for our interview. My dad, Donald Beal, who we told his story about being in Coast Guard. And I can't think of it, one more. But anyway, um, your your quilts just captivate us when we see you making one, you are a jack of all trades and I will not say a master of none because I believe that you're a master of a few of them. And one of them is education. How many years teaching have you got under your belt? <laughs> <laughs> 40. 40? Wow. My goodness. Now are the you big four -oh. retire? Still teaching? Still teaching at Elm Street? Yeah, that's what people keep asking me, but I can't afford. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't Good. afford to retire. I know. Yeah. I, I can't afford to retire. Yeah. yeah. What kind of crew do you have? Yeah. How many in number are your uh, fourth graders this year? How many do you have? I I have a very small class, uh, okay. 15. 15. Mm -hmm. And how, how have you dealt with the COVID thing? 
That's Andrew. yes, fifteen. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> well, it, it's been hard because it's you know we were in a bubble for so long, right? And then now suddenly it's starting to come around. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're starting. They had a big outbreak in Cutler. Really. Yeah. Didn't know that. Huh. I know that the yeah. where my mother is, there's been a few residents at Marshalls that have come down with the COVID. So, mm -hmm. but um, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. It's scary. It is. Yeah. It is well, scary. Hopefully, hopefully, you guys will come through it. I and uh, they'll be be bringing the vaccinations. I think the nursing homes uh, were able to get the vaccinations to the elderly people. They're at Marshall's uh, and some were getting it, some were- Were they? Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Um, so that's a good thing. Do you uh, do you still do a chess club and some activities there after school? No. No. Uh, I have, uh, my last year's class started making a quilt and really? we just wow. haven't dared keep them after to finish it. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were amazing. Wow. I was going to have them do mine. <laughs> <laughs> so they took right to the the craftiness of doing it and enjoyed it. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. With machines. Really? Wow. wow. It's it's a great it's a great uh, oh yeah it's it's a great um, uh, exercise in practical math. Really? So you were able to combine an, a number of educational disciplines. Yes. That's really cool. So take us, I, I want to talk. Yeah, we, we did history and we did math. Really? Wow. Yeah, wow. So um, machines. Well, I'm going to ask about that. So talk to us about how you quilt, how you, how you came into it, how long you've been doing it, and what kind of satisfaction it brings you. I know that's a mouthful. Oh, dear. How long have, how long yeah. have you quilted? How long have I been doing it? Yes. This time or in the past? Well, all I've been doing I it for suppose. about, well, I started uh, a few years ago and mm -hmm. made a few quilts and then stopped mm -hmm. for many, many years. And then I just picked it up again about two years ago. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I have done more in two years than I ever did in the last 20. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. So what's the difference, and, do you think? Um, I think I'm more driven. Okay. You know, to do it. Um, uh -huh. I've taken some classes, which has been fun. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, they have also been hit by COVID. Right. So uh, we did we did some on Zoom, which really surprised me. I couldn't get in touch with you. <laughs> but <laughs> I've done it enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. That's all right. Yeah, I was determined, and then uh, I took some classes, and more. It was more social. Uh -huh. You know, uh, I went the first time. I didn't know anybody. I didn't could barely uh, load my machine, uh -huh. and uh, just started. And it was a great social uh, activity. Yeah, and I'm sure that kind of encouraged you to continue to go, and where you're able to see other people's creations. Yeah. That kind of inspired you. Yeah. Just sort of the camaraderie of of being with fellow quilters. I guess you could say. Well, you know. Even though we all did the same pattern, we all chose different colors. Okay. And uh, last year, uh, you know, mm. the, the woman who trained uh, Rufus for his therapy dog certification? Yeah. 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 She, had a yeah she had a terrible year and it was just horrific. Wow. She lost her dog and she oh. lost, you know, she was taking care of her ex-husband. She was taking care mm. of him until he died. Yeah. And I said, of all the people I knew, she deserved a rainbow and I sent her a quilt that was probably the wildest colors you have ever seen. <laughs> and she just, she just loved it. I sent it, I sent it in honor of Rufus because she did such an amazing job with him. Oh. Because remember, he was the one that had mange so bad and people were scared to death of him because he was, a, he's a pretty big, fierce looking dog. Right. And uh, he's got in one month, exactly a month from today, he's going to be 13. I was just going to wow. ask you how old he was. Wow. wow. That's incredible. He's a great yep. dog. I 13. Well. Yeah. <laughs> You'll give him a big hug for us. Yes. <laughs> yes. I will. Yeah. And Gracie, too. Yeah, She's your other dog, Grace. 
I have Gracie, uh -huh. um, who is like little Miss Perfection. <laughs> and then I have Amber, who is severely ADHD. Oh my Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. She's the sweetest, most loving dog, but <laughs> she's not, she's not yeah. all there. Yeah. And uh, so we have the two Goldens and we have Rufus. Wow. And two yeah. horses. Two horses. Amazing. Yeah. So how, how do you quilt? I guess I didn't know machines were involved except maybe a sewing machine. But if you're talking about you so, so that's yeah. what you mean. Okay. Okay. Um, and so what, what goes into your design, your creation, the genesis of how you begin to think about a quilt, patterns, uh, uh, maybe mixing it up, not wanting it to be like one you made, all that. Well, initially, the reason I picked a particular pattern was because it didn't look too hard. Right. Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> well, that was good. And then um, this past summer, um, my great nephew was hit by a car and died. Oh. And his, I went to the, yeah, I went to the, he was 15. And I went to the funeral and I looked at his brother yeah. who got there before he died yeah. and uh, his two cousins. And I wanted to do something special for them. So what I did is I decided, yeah, wrongly, I might add, uh -huh. <clears throat> that I was going to create a quilt with panels, which means it's uh, it was a big picture and then you build a quilt around it. And I thought, well, that'll go faster than a regular quilt and I can get it done, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wrong. <laughs> it was the hardest thing I ever did. Really? But it was the most beautiful. And uh, one lady on a quilting site, I put it on a quilting site and the lady said, I have that same panel. Can I use your design? Uh -huh. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty nice. Yeah, Due to the sure. fact I had no idea what I was doing. Right. And... Oh, and I wasted more fabric. I had like a 10 by 10 inch piece of fabric left. And after that, it was gone. Huh. But it was beautiful. Wow. It was beautiful. So did you uh, present that God, to the family? I hope, I hope he likes it. That was for the first one. Yeah. No, it will go to one of his cousins. Okay. Perfect. And uh, I'm starting on his brother's quilt right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but I wanted to do it because I wanted to do something special. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to make a, uh, uh, a name tag on the back in the colors of their cousin. Oh, and his great. favorite colors were, oh, heaven help us, lime green and purple. <laughs> so I'm making wow. a name tag for the back of each one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Notice I said the back. Yeah. It <laughs> definitely doesn't go with the front. <laughs> the lime green and the lime. Yeah. so the next one i'm doing uh no 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 but you know something it meant something to them and yes, um, sure i hope it means something to them and, um but i made uh their their mothers some quilts last year uh -huh. and they keep trying to steal them so i figured that would be <laughs> something special for them That's yeah great. about how long does it take for you to make one Oh boy. Uh, well, I'm school. in the process thereof. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, it depends. It depends on how much time I put into it and uh, and how complicated the patterns are. Okay. But once I get it done, and it may take months, uh -huh. but once I get it done, I take it to a long arm quilter and they put it on a machine and they do the, all the fancy quilting around it. Oh, okay. And I can't do it because my shoulder is, well, you know, I have an artificial shoulder. Yeah, right. And mm -hmm. if I do too much on it, it seizes up on me. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I take it to them and she does all the fancy quilting and I bind it and give it to them. Wow. And no, I don't have one yet. You don't one have of these one days yourself. I'm going to keep myself, I'm going to keep one. <laughs> <laughs> one of but these times you'll need to yeah yeah or i've sold a couple too did you uh -huh. Uh -huh. no <laughs> so do you go to the craft fairs with some of your quilts well i'm going to make myself one of these one so one can. time yeah but you know it's always like either i no 
No crap. No, I don't. No. Yeah. I, they give them way too fast. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So I do. I give them away, and uh, yep. and like I said, I've given some as, as uh, because I felt she needed it. Uh huh. Well, that's what? beautiful. It's that's quite a gift of love. I, just, I didn't hear you. What What do you put inside him? What kind of binding or uh, fill of material? I always wondered. Um, well, there's, um, there's cotton batting that you can get. Okay. Uh, there is, you can get wool batting. Uh -huh. You can get polyester batting. Uh, it depends on how heavy you want it. If you want it puffy, you put in a particular batting, or if you want it, you know, lighter, you put in another one. Uh -huh. I, you know, it's funny. You, you can talk to quilters from all over the world. Mm. It's fascinating to do. Mm -hmm. And quilters always want to help quilters. I don't cool. care what you do. They always yeah. want to help quilters. So do you and, belong uh, to a, an so it's, online? It's a lot of fun. Do you belong to an online? It drives me crazy. <laughs> There's quite a delay here. Yeah. An online group of quilters that you are in contact with? Yes. Cool. Yep. That's good. So that I'm sure that helps with ideas and sharing. Well, it does. And also problems. When you look mm. at it, you keep thinking, oh my gosh, nobody else has this problem ever. Mm -mm. Nobody. Okay. Uh, I had problems with half square triangles. It's like mm. having a square, but it was two triangles put together. Mm -hmm. We have a very checkered past. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me, but I did. Mm -hmm. And I spent one whole summer researching how do you do it? Mm -hmm. I can make eight at a time now, and they are perfect. Oh, wow. Nice. You don't give up. You, it's, it's like you said. But it, it took me a few months to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Um, that drive that you have now to create. and, and it can, uh, No. Yeah. <laughs> That's but my husband, bless his heart, gave me a certificate for $100. And he, he said, uh, he said, I know how much you love fabric. I will never use as much fabric as I have. I hoard it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I don't care how much you have. You always are missing the right color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. So you have to go and get some, right? Yeah. So he gave you money to get some more material. Yeah. yeah. He, but he bought my machine too. Really? Well, he's a good supporter. So I have, uh, yeah, I have, I, he really is. Yeah. And he's the only man I know that will go to a quilt store and get me fabric and not know how to say batik. <laughs> <laughs> he went in and asked for some batiks. <laughs> Bless his heart. You tell him we miss him and we love I mean, him. Uh, he's got um, courage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. I will tell him that. Yeah. yeah. We used to talk sports. Oh, yeah. We so, talk sports. Would you go there for Amy? Oh. Yeah. yeah we haven't done the, the what, do you, what do you call it, honey? The right there. basketball yeah. chart. Yeah. yeah. You tell yeah. how much I know about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, March, Madness. Keep it up. March Madness. March Madness. That'll be coming, but he's probably keep it up with a He four. misses that. Yeah. 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 Tell him I miss chatting with him about it too yeah yeah Ask him if he's watching brady oh, yeah. play for another indiana. team indiana's right yeah uh, he loves indiana yeah <laughs> you bite your tongue you bite your tongue his, <laughs> his favorite team it yeah his favorite yeah. team is tampa bay good okay. there you go, now, I'm insulted. Oh. <laughs> no sir he is a traitor yeah. Well, we're trying not to be, but I can't help. He used to be my favorite player. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good one. <laughs> oh. Well, you give him a hug for us. And um, I'm and cutting up my dog's pills. You, oh. I will. Yeah. yeah. We've had our dogs on pills, uh, a few of them. And you knew that we lost our old one, Sambo. Yeah. Oh, that was a tremendous yeah, loss. I remember when we used to go for walks with him. 
Yes, yeah. exactly. He really, he really likes Rufus. They get along they pretty are. good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. We'll give Rufus and Gracie. Yeah. What's the name of the other dog? You, I have a golden yeah. I can send you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gracie's. Yeah. Amber. Amber, Amber right. the ADHD <laughs> one. Yeah, put her on a plane. I'll send Amber the next. Yeah. 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 Amber and I had a slight discussion yesterday. Did you? <laughs> she decided she wasn't going to come in and she was going, yes. <laughs> she was going to go out there and play with some uh, frozen, you know what, oh, before no. I got it picked up. <laughs> yes, poopsicles, we call it. Yeah. And she wouldn't come. Yeah. And I had to go out and get her and I dragged her in here and she stayed in a down stay for an hour and a half. Wow. Well, that's pretty. I, would, I wouldn't look at. Oh no, I wouldn't look at her. No, <laughs> I would not. You've got them trained just know, like kids. The minute I, oh, <laughs> the minute I told, told her to go into a down stay. You know who did it quickly? Gracie and Rufus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Love it. You got to love it. Tell you, she kids aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they are. They yeah. are, and love them like kids. That's mm -hmm. right, exactly. So how many dogs do you have now? Well, we've got the two. Uh, as I said, Sam passed away. We're still housing Adriana's uh, dog, which Daisy. was Daisy, which was part of Luna's eight. Um, and yeah. we'll up with the others uh, mm -hmm. as we can. And when Daisy goes with Adriana and her, and her new husband, Luna will be all alone. So we're thinking that we probably ought to get another dog to we're help. We're looking at dogs. Help, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, to try to take Sam's place, which probably won't ever happen. But uh, so we're looking for she'll something. need a friend. She'll need a friend because she's got that mentality to care for everybody. She's got that border collie in her. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, do you know the thing is they don't ever take the place of of another animal, but they make their own place. They That's make their true. own. It's a great way. And to you know. Play. Yeah, and you know, the joy of having them far outweighs the pain of losing them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And right. I right. have been so graced with some amazing animals. Mm. I really have been. Mm. Yes. Well, Bad, <laughs> but still, I love them. Too good. I yes. Know. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, God bless you. Um, thank you for being on tonight. We're going to, if there are people that want to watch this interview at school, um, we're going to uh, replay it, put it on YouTube and Facebook later, and then we have had a number of people been able to watch it. Finally, uh, with live Facebook, we've had some technical issues the last few weeks or months, but um, <laughs> it's a joy to talk to you. I know so we nice. will never give it down, Pat, will we? Even though it's a good thing, this uh, technology Zoom. and Zoom, <laughs> it's still kind of hard, but we miss you guys at Elm Street so much. You got a great. Oh gosh, I miss you. Yeah, it's it's all the little times that we could chat and talk and yeah. and just lay things out and lean on each other. So we're praying for you and uh, give Mike a hug and all your dogs and your horses. Say hi to everyone at Elm Street. Too. I will do that. We'll be. I will Karen. tell them that tomorrow. Yes. Yay. God bless you. Love you too. Love, Love you. you. Bye. Bye bye. bye.